Chalk Art is coming soon to Key West. Now experienced artists from across the state of Florida will be taking their craft to the streets literally transforming the promenade alongside the seawall at the Truman waterfront. This is brought to you by Art in Public Places, which is managed by my next guest this morning. Michael, thank you so much for being on the show with me today. Well, thank you for having me. We're very excited about the inaugural Chalk Fest, mm -hmm. which is, of course, bringing artists from across the state as well as Key West artists to Chalk, the promenade, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the uh, U.S. Coast Guard Ingham at the Truman waterfront. And now I mentioned, Michael, that this is brought to us by Art in Public Places. What is Art in Public Places? Art in Public Places is a commissioner and mayor appointed board mm -hmm. representing the districts in the city uh, to uh, advance the arts in Key West, uh, to uh, not only uh, display public art, mm -hmm. uh, but also to advance artists and arts organizations as well as projects. Uh, we have undertaken this uh, campaign, if you will, mm -hmm. to make public art more accessible by this time-honored tradition of chalk art, which is a 500-year tradition, the Madonna Ari. Of course, it came from the Renaissance, and I think most people have seen pictures of it, but now we get to experience it because it is not just a visual landscape, it's a performance landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is so neat that you guys are putting on this event. So you said this originated how many years ago, Michael? In the Renaissance era of mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, these were performers that, of course, uh, played for coins and donations. Mm -hmm. But it was to represent the art of that period, whether it was uh, replicating the Sistine Chapel or works of uh, religious art. But now it's taken to a modern era and in this past century and now in a contemporary vein in Florida. Uh, we have uh, international level festivals mm -hmm. such as Winter Park, Sarasota, and elsewhere. And so on November 29th, mm -hmm. 30th, and the 1st at the Truman Waterfront, we'll be able to have about uh, uh, close to two dozen uh, artists uh, who I can give you a, a, a recounting of some of uh, the local artists who will be uh, capturing on a basically 10 by 10 foot square. Mm -hmm. um, in front of the Ingham uh, on the large promenade. So it's a perfect sidewalk, mm -hmm. street surface. It is a perfect spot. Truman Adams, who is a world-renowned uh, artist who has captured 3D images uh, spectacularly. Uh, Stig Lindau, likewise, from mm -hmm. Sarasota, along with uh, 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 Tico Williamson, mm -hmm. and a special artist, the 11-year-old Antoinette Jude Golden, mm -hmm. who is a, a wonder kind and will be doing an abstract uh, portraiture. Uh, but locally, we have um, Faustine Errol, Jessica Argyle, Carrie Desrud, uh, Gail Drescher, Elio Hines, Amanda Johnson, uh, Kate Peachy, uh, Suzanne Piera and Tortuga Jack, Rhonda Rinald, uh, Carl and Carol Ann Toft, as well as Jonathan Woods and Dahlia Woods and Rick Worth. Talented, talented lineup of artists. Michael. Well, it's going to be quite a, uh, interesting. Again, it takes place over a few days, so you can mm -hmm. see the progression as they lay it out and they begin to chalk mm -hmm. and to uh, take form. But we also have prizes, of course. Mm -hmm. We have uh, first, second, and third prizes and, and uh, of course, honorable mentions and a, an awards party at the studios of Key West, 9 o'clock at the studios, uh, to announce the winners. And our judges are Terry Johnston and uh, uh, Jed Dodds from the studios. Okay. Now, Michael, why did you decide to bring chalk art to Key West? It's a public expression of art, but it's also performance art. Mm -hmm. People can see not only the talents and the, the, the remarkable styles uh, come to uh, life, but it, it allows people to also come to the Truman Waterfront uh, to see the beginnings of the transformation that will be taking place there. And it's part of our responsibility as uh, the Key West Art and Public Places Board to foster and cultivate uh, public access to the arts, whether it's visual, performing or even literary. Mm -hmm. I am so excited to see this. Now, I used to love, as a child, doing chalk art. Obviously, I'm not <laughs> a <laughs> talented chalk artist, but I, again, I think that this is so great that you guys are bringing this to Key West so the public can see it. What else do you have going on with Art in Public Places, Michael? Well, we also have another project uh, in addition to this one, which is part of the Art Key West uh, large umbrella of festivities over this mm -hmm. uh, coming weekend, uh, Poetry on Sidewalks. Uh, this is allowing, uh, again, taking from other cities who have incorporated this, 
we have to replace sidewalks on occasion for whatever the reason. And uh, we've made a proposal to be able to imprint poetry or literary quotes from our rich literary tradition here in the Keys uh, in Key West uh, to be embedded so it provo uh, provides a legacy for us as we walk the streets so that um, uh, those words and insights and, uh, uh, can be experienced uh, in all manner of ways for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but we also are uh, publicly funded through a 1% for Art program of uh, new construction, new de major development projects. And that will allow us to also have site-specific installations of uh, uh, pieces of, of art, whether they be sculptures or murals, um, in addition to uh, encouraging, again, greater participation and civic mm -hmm. engagement with the arts. Mm -hmm. You guys are always staying busy, and that's great. Michael, before we go, we're running out of time, but what are you most looking forward to for this year's Chalk Art? I think just the synergy, the excitement to see all of a sudden a blank surface transform itself, and everyone's invited, it's free, uh, plenty of parking uh, from 10 to 6. I'm most excited about having people come and experience what the artists are giving to our community. Because even after it's all done, it'll remain there until basically the elements wash it away. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we would do without the artist, Dan Michael. For more information on it, just check out the information you see on the bottom of the screen. Thanks for being on this morning. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.